Honestly, I'm not sure if maybe they were just very strange people or if they really were sex traffickers. Hi guys, it's Amara and welcome back to my channel. So this incident happened while I was Christmas shopping. So it was like a month ago. And look who decided to join us today. So this incident happened a month ago while I was Christmas shopping and thank goodness I was not alone because I'm very oblivious to things and I'm just like, I don't pay attention to my surroundings, which like now I do, I've gotten a lot better after this, but like before that, eh. I live in Ohio and my mom and I like to go into Pennsylvania to this one store. I'm not gonna say the name of it just because like location, don't really wanna share that. It's like a tradition every year for me and my mom to go and we walk through and we see the trees and we look at ornaments and then we shop around. We were going through the little like tree path looking at all the Christmas trees and like we didn't notice anyone. At least my mom didn't and I definitely didn't because I didn't notice anything besides how sparkly the trees were. So afterwards you come out of like the path where all the trees are and then it turns into like aisles for the store and Santa. So me and my mom get done going through the trees and we go out into like this big main store section. So my mom noticed a couple times before she told me because like maybe it was a coincidence. I saw two men and they were both wearing Carhartt jackets and they were like following us. And my mom said they didn't really pay much attention to her at all, but it was me. And they were like looking at me and like we would go down an aisle and I'd follow my mom and then like the men would come behind us and then go to the next aisle and then those guys were also in the next aisle that we were going to. So finally my mom was like, just please stay with me. There's two creeps over there and they keep watching you. And I was like, my, literally my worst nightmare. I have two big fears, dying and like the afterlife because that is so creepy don't get me started and then being kidnapped so those two guys in the carhartt jackets like disappeared went off then there was another couple both wearing carhartt jackets one was a guy and one was a girl and they like to me i didn't really notice at first again even though i was watching out just because like they were really like looking at stuff and like my mom didn't say anything about them so i just assumed there was like two guys that were like being weird, but like these two were like whatever. But then same exact pattern happened. So we would go down a row and then they would go down a row. So we get to the end of the store as these people are like going through rows or whatever. They disappear for a while, they come back. We get to the end of the store and we go to leave and suddenly the two men from before and the couple are now all together in a group and they're like talking about stuff, but the whole time they're talking, they're like not even paying attention to each other. They're just staring at me. So we go to the door and all four of them go to the door at the same time. And my mom was like, get over here right now. <laughs> Last door's exit and one's the entrance. You cannot go out the entrance because the sensor like to slide open the door is not on that side. So my mom goes from the exit door off and stands near the middle and there's two like bookshelves. She's pretending to look at them. The group of four that was also going to the door stops, looks to see where we went, turns around and goes to the other side of us. They're like pretending to read like the emergency fire sign on the door or something and like one pushes on the door and like they're looking through the windows like trying to get out like you were just at the exit door. So then my mom like looks down and pretends to call someone and this is when all four of them looked at us and went to walk away, but one walked so close to me. Like literally like my hair was like touched on their jacket. And then finally they get to the parking lot and leave. And my mom goes, this is what we're gonna do. There's a group of people leaving now that's just like a family. We're gonna go out with them. So like we're not outside alone in a parking lot with these people. So we get out to the parking lot. That family goes off like wherever. See these four people get in a dark colored SUV which like normally it's the white van you look out for, but still things that are like dark colored and blend in and have very tinted windows, I don't think so. So I can see them, two of them are already in the back seat of the SUV. One is working on getting in the passenger seat when they turn and see my mom and I walking out of the store. And then the driver has his door open and is like peeking over the door watching where we go. Here's the issue, my mom and I book it to get to her Jeep. But her Jeep isn't like a Jeep where you could go out in traffic and like lose it like a black, gray, like white even. 
No, my mom drives a neon green vehicle. You could literally see it states away. Mom gets in the Jeep and I go around the back of the Jeep. Don't worry, the people were like parked in the front. So like we were good. I went around the back of the Jeep and I go to get in my door and I look over to see like, I was trying to see what vehicle they drove so we knew like we could watch to make sure they're not following us. So I look over as I'm getting into the Jeep and I see the driver point at me. Excuse me, sir, it is impolite to point. So after that, I get in the Jeep, shut the door, and I'm like, Mom, lock it. They pointed at me. Ended up pulling out of, like, the store we were in, and we drove to a plaza and parked, and then we just waited, watched to see what vehicles come and go, like, buy us, whatever. And, like, after, like, 15, 20 minutes, we didn't see anyone, and we just continued shopping. Maybe they were just really weird, but as the, like, following and, like, the door thing, and then, like, pointing at me, like... I don't think so. So yeah, moral of the story, pay attention to your surroundings. And um, sorry that I like kind of joked around with this. It is 100% true, but um, you know, I like to deal with my trauma by laughing at it. You should hear my divorced parents jokes. Oh, my depression jokes, outstanding. Love you guys very, very much. If you have a video request, leave it in the comments below and I will see it. Um. Don't forget to follow me on my other social medias. All the links are in the descriptions. Pay attention in public. Goodbye. Look at my scrunchie. It matches my shirt.